Cao Cao takes the rank of Duke of Wei and succeeds in stabilizing his forces. He defeats Ma Chao of Guanzhong and strengthens his control of the north. While healing the damage taken at Chibi, he prepares for another campaign south. Elsewhere, Sun Quan forges an alliance with Liu Bei and waits for his chance to take the land. But their relations soon sour because of Liu Bei's possession of Jing, which Wu believes should have been theirs. Using Jing as a stepping stone, Liu Bei invades Liu Zhang's Bashu. With that success, he has finally obtained the country he has long searched for. In the north, Cao Cao. In the east, Sun Quan. In the south, Liu Bei. The world of the three kingdoms of Wei, Wu, and Shu have been established. It is rather hard for us to be optimistic given our current circumstances. Where do we strike first? We're surrounded by Liu Bei in the Yi province to the west, and Sun Quan in Jian in the east. And now we have Guan Yu to the south of us in Jin province. Perhaps. Although, if we don't make a move, the chaos will never end. If we will be attacked once we launch an attack of our own, we should refrain from doing so for now. How about we focus on Han Zhong to the north of Yi instead? Zhang Lu is in charge of Han Zhong. Compared to Liu Bei, I suppose he's not much of an opponent. What made you think of him, Cousin Dun? Han Zhong. Yes, Han Zhong. I like it, Master Sha Dun. If we can control Han Zhong, we can use it to hold off Liu Bei's attacks from Yi province. Very well. We shall build up our army in order to invade Han Zhong. Wait a moment, my lord. Doesn't that mean we'll be turning our backs to the east? What's to stop somebody from attacking Hefei while we take Han Zhong? I was thinking the same thing. Eugene, Li Dian, you two work well together. I am certain that you can handle the Wu army's assault. Will you agree to defend Perfei from the enemy for me? I had a feeling you might ask that. Leave the defense of Perfei to us. I shall do my absolute best not to impede Master Li Dian's efforts. Very well. Our entire strategy depends on you. Zhang Liao, I want you to lead our defense at Perfei. Work together with Li Dian and Eugene to hold off the Wu forces. Yes, my lord. I will defend Perfei with my very life if need be. I suppose I must respect our lord's decision. But I must say, I didn't see this coming. The three of you are to leave for Perfei immediately. Everybody else, head to Tianshui. We must defeat Zheng Lu and seize control of Han Zheng as quickly as possible. It looks like we're ready to go. Let's get out there and take Han Zheng. Wait. Hey, you're late. I know you're my son and all, but you can't be sleeping in on the day of your first battle. Shaho Ba. He was the son of famed Wei officer Shaho Yuan. Expectations were high for him as an officer of the renowned Shaho clan. With the land divided into three, Cao Cao was concerned with Liu Bei's annexation of Yi province. Along with Shaho Yuan, he moved to secure Hanzhong and Northern Yi. Shaho Ba also joined the campaign, taking place in what would be his very first battle. No, that wasn't it. 
This armor is so heavy. Huh? Why are you staring at me? Did I do something wrong? No. I was just thinking how good that armor looks on you. I'm glad I kept it. Clothes really do make the man. I'm proud of you, son. Father, don't worry. I promise to do my best out there today. Did you know that your armor gets heavier if you laze around in it? You've got to keep active at all times. Are you teasing me again? Huh? You're not serious, are you? Of course I'm teasing you, son. You truly are a trusting soul, nothing like your old man. Seriously, though, don't let the enemy go tricking you like this, okay? We finally made it to Hung Jung. Hey, what's the matter, son? You're not tired already, are you? We haven't even got to the fun part yet. It seems U's massive army is on its way to invade Per Fei. I don't imagine Jung Liao will go down without a fight, but he is heavily outnumbered. We should send him some reinforcements. Yes, but where should we send them from? We can't use any troops near Xu Chung. Manchung. What about Jing province? I have a suspicion that Guan Yu will work together with Wu, but... No, there has been no unusual activity in Jin province. Liu Bei must be focused on governing Bashu. Furthermore, it appears that Liu Bei has rejected Sun Quan's request to return to Jin province. Of course, I doubt he ever planned on giving it back. They pretended to work with Wu all that time, but were just using them. Liu Bei's strategist Zhuge Lian is quite the hypocrite. If Jing is currently the subject of a stalemate, we can afford to send some troops to deal with Wu. Send a messenger to Xu Chung and order reinforcements to Perfei. We shall continue with our plan to slay Zheng Lu. The situation in Perfei only underscores the need for us to finish up here in Hanjiang immediately. Hanjiang is a shortcut from Bashu to Shan'an. We must control it if we are to stabilize the battle lines on our eastern and western borders. Yes, I agree. So, let's defeat Zhang Lu as quickly as possible and make it happen. Okay, let's quickly take Han Chong. I'm counting on you to watch my back out there, son. You make sure to keep an eye on me, father. It may just be your very own son who defeats Zhang Lu. Young Song is widely known for his treacherous nature. With the right circumstances, we might be able to get him to defect to our side.
This place belongs to us now. formation to be in perfect order. Oh, my God. 
That's yet another victory for me. Impressive work, son. That's the spirit. Okay, I'm ready to go. I'll scatter you before me. Impossible! Not Young Pin Gate! We've captured Young Pin Gate! We have the advantage now! Looks like we won that one! What? We've lost our key outpost? As I feared. There may be no way to overcome the Wei army. Ha! Is there no way we can make clandestine contact with any Wei officers? We can manage to turn one or two. Ha! Young Pink Gate has fallen? You must be joking! Again! We shall use this path to advance on Hanzhong! Not stop until we reach the enemy's position! Okay, I'm ready to go! Uh, I'll scatter you before me! You will never take Mount Tiandong! I will defend it with my life! I have failed in my duty, Master Jiang Lu. You have my deepest apologies. We've captured Mount Tiangdang. This is big for our forces. Looks like we won that one. Impressed. Seems my unit is the only one to be isolated. However, I will continue fighting until I am the last man standing. They're finally here. I must fight to protect Henjong. Mount Tiangdong has fallen? Then we can't win now. no more. I ask that you let the people of this land live. Okay, I'm ready to go. We did it, Father. Wang Zhang belongs to us now. I only need nice a single work out there, son. That was an impressive showing for your first battle.
Master Cao Cao. I must express my profound gratitude for your magnanimous treatment of me. However, there is something I wish to ask of you. Why would you spare me despite the fact that I have turned my blade against you twice now? I must find a way to eliminate war from this land. However, the same cannot be said for people. It would be a waste to lose an officer as talented as you. I appreciate your unequivocal answer. I'm also greatly humbled to hear that you think so highly of me. Hong De, the land is about to experience turmoil the likes of which it has never seen. I desire to be the one that finally puts an end to this chaos. As such, I would like to ask you to join me on my quest. It shall be an honor, my lord. I have discovered newfound purpose to my life. I hereby vow to serve as one of your most dedicated subjects. Well noted. I look forward to accomplishing great things with you. Father, Hanjong is ours. What is our next move? Our men still have some fight left in them, so we could continue on. Perhaps, but we lack the provisions to feed them. As it stands, we are forced to rely on the supplies sent from Shang'an. Excuse me, my lord, may I make a suggestion? Hmm? I am Tima Yi. Liu Bei has not held the lands of Bashu for long. I do not believe he has a firm grip on the territory yet. We should be emboldened by our recent successes and attack Bashu in Yi province. I can see some merit to your suggestion. This could be our chance to finally put an end to Liu Bei's meddling. However, Guan Yu is in Jing province, while Sun Quan controls Perfei. If we make a move now, we will have to worry about an attack on our rear border. Of course, I am sure we are not the only ones thinking this way. I have a feeling Liu Bei and Sun Quan are of the same mind. That is the nature of our three kingdoms. In that case, we should move as quickly as possible. We need to disrupt the equilibrium of the three kingdoms. Uh, please, forgive me for being so blunt. Think nothing of it. Going forward, I want to hear your opinion on all matters of strategic importance. We shall leave just enough troops in Hanjiang as necessary, and the rest shall march east on Perfei. Cao Pi, spread the word amongst the men. Xiao Hu Dun, Xiao Yuan, I have a request to make of the both of you. What is it, my lord? And why are you acting so formal? If we put pressure on Wu now, we may be able to get out from the fact that Liu Bei and Sun Quan are aligned against us. However, I will require your assistance in order to make it happen. So basically, you want us to help support your reckless plan. How's that any different than every other time we've been there for you? What do you need us to do? My plan is to lure Liu Bei to Hanjong, and during that time we will slay Guan Yu. What? Hanjong is essential to the land of Bashu. If we purposely leave it sparsely defended, they will be eager to try and take it from us. Meanwhile, we will form a pact with Sun Quan to invade Jing province, which they have long coveted. If we tell them that Guan Yu will also fall, they will not refuse. Yes, the alliance between them is rather fragile. I am sure we can bring Sun Quan to our side. However, 
If Liu Bei catches wind of this, we could end up losing both Han Zhong and Jing. That's why we need to stoutly defend Han Zhong, and then let them think that they're about to win without us actually losing. Of course, that'll be a fine line to walk. In order to send troops to Jing, we need to leave our best troops in Han Zhang, but reduce its overall numbers. Of course, they still might suspect our plan. That is why I need one of my best men to be leading the defense. I believe that should be enough to throw them off our scent. So that is where we come in. I understand. I'll serve as the decoy in Han Zhang. Forget it, Cousin Du. I'll take care of it. Besides, I'm sure you're just dying to be a part of this battle to slay Guan Yu and Jing. Right, my lord? Okay, then. It's time for me to go and do my thing. Thank you. I am certain that Liu Bei will throw everything he's got at you. This is a most dangerous mission, Xiao Yuan. But I am counting on you. Don't worry. I think yours is the toughest job of them all. You've got all that traveling to do, and you're not getting any younger either. Be careful out there, okay? Hmm. I shall take that into consideration. We shall slay Guan Yu and finally put an end to this balance between our three kingdoms. This is our chance. We cannot afford to fail. You can count on us. Now, I must decide on a location to speak privately with Sun Quan. We are looking to move past the history of our relationship. Therefore, I think Ruzhuku should do nicely.